Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Below the title bar is the menu bar. You can control all the functions of Outlook by selecting the various drop-down menu commands listed on this bar. In Outlook, these commands are File, Edit, View, Go, Tools, Actions, and Help. One thing to notice about the menu bar in Outlook is that the commands that are available will change depending on what window you're viewing. So the commands listed here would not be the same commands you would see on the menu bar of an email window, for example. Notice that this has also the insert and format commands available. So you should always keep an eye on your options in the menu bar as you move through the various windows in the application to ensure that you know what options are available for you to perform in each section. Now clicking on any one of the commands will display a sub-menu of available commands in that category. Commands that are grayed out are not currently available. So for example, I cannot undo right now. Commands that are followed by a right pointing arrow simply display another side menu of choices into which you will need to slide to the side and then click to make a selection. Commands followed by an ellipses mark, when selected, will invoke a dialog box. And in the dialog box, you'll need to supply Outlook with some additional information or make some additional choice before it could carry out the selected command. Now, in addition to navigating Outlook with your mouse, you can also use keyboard shortcuts to execute commands. If you'd like to increase your efficiency with Outlook, the keyboard shortcuts for some commands are listed in the menu bar to the right of the specific command to which they correspond. So for example, if you click Edit on the menu bar, you can see that the shortcut for the Cut command, which is Control x on your keyboard, is something that you could press in the future instead of choosing Edit and then clicking the Cut command with your mouse. Now not every command in the menu bar has a corresponding keyboard shortcut. All commands do, however, have keystroke combinations that you can press to execute them. Each command on the menu bar has an underlined letter, like the F in File. If you hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and strike the underlined letter for the command grouping you'd like to view, like Alt and F for File, you'll see the drop-down list appear. From there, notice that every subcommand also has an underlined letter. At this point, you can release Alt on your keyboard and simply press the letter on your keyboard that corresponds to the command you'd like to execute. For example, I could simply press E on my keyboard to close all open items, or X to exit the program. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.